welcome back to another high adventure video here on the Great Lake Murray. One of the Great Lakes. Oh, I had one of my herring jump out. Hmm? Look at that. We have a live well full of bait. There you go. Probably should use him first. <laughs> a live well full of bait and a heart full of hope. Let's see if we can get after some big striper first thing this morning. That's the target. Got some nice healthy specimens this morning. Good big ones. Loading up on our little circle hooks here, making sure that's going through the nose cavity just like that. Getting him in the water toot sweet. Got a bunch of line out for this guy here. Gonna go ahead and attach a planer to this one. Put it out like that and I just open the bale up and we'll just drag that and that'll go straight back. Kind of difficult to get through that jaw. It's so paper thin. Gotta go nice and easy. There we go. There she goes. Last free line out. Oh, you're fine. This doesn't figure it out. He's fine yet. There we go. Now he's swimming. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta give him a little encouragement first thing in the morning. All right, and that is our last line. Oops, set. There you have it. Four free lines out. We're just gonna be cruising around now, finding some points. Got a couple of nice points over here. We're gonna cruise around this little island right here. And let's just sit back and hopefully wait to hear this. That's what we wanna hear right there. Oh boy, guys, guys, right here, right here. Free line, free line. Got him. There we go, first fish of the morning. Whoa, this is a good run, good run. <laughs> Let's go. Come here, baby. Let me get a look at you. Oh yeah, don't think that's a keeper, but it's a nice 17 incher to start the morning probably. Thereabouts, won't worry about netting her. First fish, not gonna hate that. Ugh. There you go. Hey, not bad. Sweet. Nice plump striper here in about a month. I could keep that. That's probably my guess about 18, 19 inches. Good way to start, but not our keeper. Get her back down there. Awesome, awesome. Love getting a fish like that in a new area. Just cause then you know, hey, we're in the right area. So, get out of there. We've got our lines back. We've got our lines back. Oh my gosh, right there. Look at that. On the planer. On the planer. Oh my word. There we go. Dudes, I was getting ready to throw a jerk bait. <laughs> I don't think we can. Oh my gosh. Dude, that's a good fish. It's a good fish. Mama, dude, I think my planer came off. I think I see him floating away back there, dude. No, come back. I have to go back around to get that. That's the one thing about fishing with all these free lines out the back. You know, you get a good fish like this, and he starts moving around. Then all of a sudden, you know, you get some crazy action as far as getting all tangled up. Now hold on one second. That one's swimming off to the side. We might have doubled up here, y'all. Yeah, that's a bull. That's a bull. And of course we don't have the net ready. That should be 21, I'm thinking. Just looking at the shoulders on this guy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, before we deal with that, we've got a second fish right here. We got a second fish. Yeah, we do. Second fish. Oh my gosh. Now I can't lose sight of my planer board. He's way back there. I've got boats watching me. They're starting to come around. Okay, now he's got that line right there. <laughs> Everybody was fishing too shallow. They were fishing up on those islands over there. And that's not where the fish are. They're out in about 20 feet. Dudes, we might have just doubled up. Two keepers right here. Oh, this is the kind of action you like to start the day with. Come here. 
That one's gonna be close as well. It's gonna be very close. Let's pop this guy out. Come here. Come here. Yes, there we go. <laughs> Look at that. Both the planer boards got it done. Oh, now everybody's circling like vultures now. Oh, <laughs> dude, that is cool. There you go, guys, right there. That's my first keeper striper on a planer board. How about that little high adventure of history made today? That is sweet, let's go check out the size. Here we go. What are we working with? That is a beautiful 24 inch striper. 24 inches, that's awesome now. We're gonna run back this way. Let me check this guy here. Oh, dudes, look at this. Check it out. Two keepers. Look at this. Right there. Oh, free line. Free line's going. Oh, well, she's done now, apparently. But look at this. Look at that. 21 inches. Just over 21. If I can push that down a little bit. We just put a second keeper in the box. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's 21, just barely. Yes, let's go. Two keeper striper. Now, the thing we gotta do is we gotta get back out and get back over that area. Check this out. We got boats starting to circle around. Everybody's watching. I need some binoculars on this boat, actually. That way I can watch other people, but let's get the ice going, man. Yes. Guys, we're trying to find. Oh, there it is, right there. I'm trying to find another plane where I don't know how that thing came off. Must not have secured the back line correctly. Hey, you. Come here. <laughs> Don't know how we did that. There we go. All right, back to business. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the gills and then we're gonna let them bleed out on the ice. There's that, and then this way, it helps get rid of uh, the blood out of the meat. Just makes them fresher. All right, there we go. Perfect. All right, now we gotta get every rod baited back up because both these free lines got hit too while I was getting everything ready. That's okay, good problem to have. Look at that right there, see that? We got striper, I think those are striper down there and our baits probably hang out in about 10 feet and they're just coming up and hammering it. Guys, I'm letting this planer board out and it's already getting hit. It was, it was going backwards into the water. Dude, how are these free lines getting hit? Oh, there's a there's a hit on the li on the free line. Get grief! Why aren't you taking it? Literally every rod has gotten hit. Bait's gone. There he goes. There he is. There he is. Got him. <laughs> oh no! How would he get off, dude? Oh my gosh. Came back for it, apparently. Got him. Fish on. <laughs> Y'all, I missed bites on every single rod. And then finally got this one. He broke the line on one of them. Just tossed the hook on two others. Woo! That's what I want right there. She said, I want me a live herring. Ooh, that's gonna be a close one. I don't think so. But it's another solid fish. There we go. Hey! Dude, that actually might be close. She horked that herring down. Let's go see right now what we got. Do we have keeper number three? That's nah, gonna be short. 20 inch, 20 and a half. Dig nabbit. Nah, it's 20. 20 inch striper. Shoot. Still a good fighting fish though. There we go. All right, hook's too far down there. Another solid fish. Get on out of here. Gonna have to retie. Good grief, we had a lot of action right through there. It was good stuff. Y'all, I wanna give a big shout out really quickly too, to this company. It's a local company, Drift King. Now, originally the gentleman, Brett, who makes these rod and reel combos. First off, the reels 
are buttery smooth. Love these reels. Um, he started out by making catfish stuff for drifting for catfish. Big thing here in the South. I did not know that. However, he started to expand his business. It's a local guy right here in South Carolina. Started to expand his business. He started about three years ago and he's moved into striper rods and he's got a medium light medium head heavy striper rod these are the medium lights he's got blue green and black reels as you guys can see i've got uh, one of the green rods and a white rod all of my stuff here today actually is drift kings and i gotta say these are phenomenal i am really digging this allegedly he's telling me he's going to come out with some crappy rods next year as well so i'm pretty pumped about that you guys will also see the catfish rods and reels uh coming up in some videos here soon because catfish season for me is really starting to ramp up but if you guys want any of this setup that i've got going on here today for the stripers there'll be a link in the description below go click on it i think there's going to be a little discount promo code there as well so if you want any of this sweet striper fishing gear um again big shout out to brett drift kings tackle uh this dude's got it going on in my opinion and so far i'm really liking this striper setup i'd like it even more if i knew <laughs> what i was doing a little bit more with uh, this free lining and stuff we probably could have put a few more in the boat this morning but hey you gotta learn somehow i guess y'all we are switching up our tactic now that we're moving into the afternoon we still have excellent cloud cover but i have not had any bites for like a solid 45 minutes pulling the planer boards so we are 55 feet of water basically out here yeah this is the middle of the lake for sure but we're on a hump we're surrounded by probably like 140 180 feet of water and i looked on my navionics app love that app by the way and i noticed there was a point, very shallow point over here, similar to kind of what we were fishing over that way. And there's a trough and then it comes out to this nice hump. What I am thinking is I think those fish move deeper during the afternoon. So we're gonna find out, we're gonna sit out here on this 55 foot hump, not too deep, but just deep enough to where I think those bigger fish are gonna move out here that's the thought anyway <laughs> we'll find out but i like the area we're sitting in cross our fingers that our new tactics gonna work we are also going to be cutting up some herring uh about sizes like that right there so we're switching to the cut bait we're gonna put the live bait away for now and we're gonna just throw big chunks of cut bait onto the bottom hopefully those big females big males are cruising around and they'll just hit that uh hit that cut herring that's just chilling out there waiting for them to scoop it up already got a couple lines out i like to get nice big chunks especially when i'm fishing this deep i don't know i just feel i feel like bigger pieces the better and then i cut all this other stuff up into small bits here and in south carolina it's legal to chum in idaho where i'm from it's not a yeah, big old fat ticket for doing that in fact i think my bro ace got a fat ticket for chumming corn literally somebody reported him on one of his videos like like it was like 10 months later that the fishing game showed up and gave him a ticket i mean it's ridiculous like what you got nothing better to do with your time than to report somebody that a year ago was chumming corn really like that's kind of a sad life in my opinion that you're living if that's what you're spending your time doing anyway it is legal here though so we're all good. Look at this one, look at this one. Off the hump. Oh, stop your clicker, you nut. Oh, did I miss him? Dude, I think that... No, I got him. Yeah, we got him, we got him. Dude, that might be a good fish coming up to the surface that's gonna be a striper yep that's a striper ran right to the surface usually when I'm fishing out deep like this I don't know why but the peanuts don't seem to come out this way oh I saw I saw a nice fin come out of the back out of the water you gotta be 21 you're 21 oh I don't know that's gonna be close where's my net 
a quality fish. Oh. No, don't go into the prop. Oh, I think that's going to be 21. Good shoulders on her. Good shoulders on her. Yes, let's go, boys. Let's go. Look how fat this thing is. Good grief. Might have to weigh that up just for fun. That is 21 inches all day. Look at that fish right there. Good, good fish on that cut bait. All right. That about another 24 inch, I'd say. Look at that, 24, 24 inches. There we go. All right. Yeah, let's go, boys. Punch paid off. That is amazing. I feel suspicious. Why does that feel suspicious? No, we got something on here. Is it running towards me? Oh, no, it's a baby striper. <laughs> it's a baby. Remember me telling you guys how we want the big ones out deeper? Yeah. Yeah. Glad I could prove that point. Oh, careful. Give me back my hook. Dude couldn't even move the, move the sinker. <laughs> All right, let's move up. New spot means new chum. Woo! Bring him in for me, boys. Any knives in here? Ah, there's our knife. I think it's time to get some fish going. Dun, da, da, da. Let's grab one of our, uh, hmm, a little bit of a mess in there. One of our specimens. Get him out here, set and prepped. Ready? Woo! What do y'all say to a little striper nugget action right out here on the boat? We just got set up. Rod's fresh out in a new spot, sitting in 40 feet of water, marking, marking fish. So it'll just depend on whether or not they're willing to eat. It's up to them. I'll tell you what else I'll have a link to is in the description below is this knife. I like this bit heavier duty your knife, especially when it comes to these bigger fish like this, just the bones and everything are just so much bigger. Nice to have something with a little more backbone instead of a little dainty filleting knife. <sighs> there we go. There's a big male right there. Big male. All I'll try to do is cut up off the skin just a little bit. Leave that red, red meat behind. Don't want red meat when it comes to fish. Well, at least striper anyway. Tuna, I guess you do. That red meat means blood. Look at that. We didn't do a bad job at all right there. Just cut that little off. Yeah. Take that. Oh, oh, hold up. There's a hit. There's a fish. Well, I like that kind of action right there. Woo, woo, ho. Oh. Let's go. New spot paying off. Oh, well, turn your clicker off, you big ding dong. Golly, I'm not a Neanderthal. I need to loosen this drag up a little bit. Let's see if I can here. That might be another one for the box right there. Good fish on that cut bait. Cut bait's putting in work this afternoon. Those fish are cruising the bottom. Cruising the bottom. And there's looking to score an easy meal. Oh my gosh. Doubled up. Right there. Right there. We got a second one. To loosen the drag on this too. There we go. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Sheesh. Oh my gosh. Guys. This is what I'm talking about. It went from zero to something real quick. I see her. I see her. You can always tell by the shoulders. Oh, that's a keeper right there. That's another keeper. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, is this one off? Let's go see. That's probably 22 inches. Nope, guys, I think we've still got a fish here. Let's see. No. Wait, turn the clicker off, Micah. Did she leave me? 
Ah, nuts. It got off. Holy cow. That was insane. There was nothing I could do though. What? Oh, dude, she broke the line. Line broke. I'm working eight pound test line. The water's pretty clear on this end of the lake, so I'm trying to go a little bit low profile. That line just busted. Dang, nab it. Okay, but let's come deal with this bad boy right here. There ow, is another one for the box. Look at that. Yes. I'm gonna say 22. That is, look at that. I've done this a time or two, 22 inches. Beautiful fish. Let's get it in the box. Let's go. Dang, almost doubled up. There we go. Drop it right there. All right. Sweet. Let's get some bait out there. I'm gonna get this back out before we continue our cooking. So we've got our lines working for us. All right, sorry about the interruption. Back to your regular scheduled cooking programming. We are going to cube these up next with our big old knife. Get some striper nuggies going. That should be peachy right there. Now, I have with me some da, 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 flour this is some flour and it's got some of that uh what is that cornstarch mixed in with it subscribers told me hey you want to crispy up your nuggets put cornstarch in there and i always forget if you're supposed to put baking powder or baking soda because one of those does it as well but i always forget so i'm just going with the cornstarch let's go ahead and get our grill out oh my hmm look at a little dark over that way might need to carry on quickly here. Really don't want to get rained out. Let's see here. Uh, bowl. Bowl will do. I'm gonna need a pan for frying. That'll probably do. And a pan for sticking them in. That'll do. What we are about to do, honestly, let's see. I'm gonna crack it on this. There's some egg. Throw some milk in there. You know what? We might double up that wash. I've got big nuggets. Go ahead and beat the devil out of that. Beat it like it stole something. Go ahead and throw a little oil in there. About yay so. Yeah, that's good. Oh, you know what? We need gas. Probably should attach that. That would be helpful. Nuggets in the old egg wash there. Then we're gonna fish them out. <coughs> Come on, baby! Drop them right in our dust. All right, got our nuggets in here. Go ahead, mix those around a bit. Waiting for the old oil to heat up. Shouldn't take long. Let's go ahead and get the other nuggets thrown in here as well. Process the rest. Oh man, guys, this is gonna be delicious. Oil looks plenty hot. Let's go ahead and start dropping nuggets in. I don't know how much time I've got with that barreling down on me. We might be cooking in the rain. All right, what did I bring with me today? Oh, honey barbecue. What do you guys say to some honey barbecue striper? I say yes. I don't think I've done this one yet. Have I? I don't like the Asian zing. I know I've done that. I don't know, that real spicy one. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm down. Whoa! What you guys are going to be observing is me placing some sauce in a pan. That's why they call it sauce pan. Oh, hey yo! I missed my calling. No, I didn't. Anyway, still letting the nuggets cook. Slowly but surely getting there. Keeping an eye on this storm that's barreling down on us. I'm starting to wonder if this was a great idea. I just need my nuggets to cook. Come on, nuggets. Please, hurry. Oh, hey, good news on the weather front. Uh, there is a 0% chance of rain today. So that over there, I don't even have to worry about because the weatherman, man, he hasn't lied to me yet. So we're going to be good. Our nuggets are almost done. Then we'll be on to the next step. Oh, boy. Get a load of that consistency. Oh, man, they feel crispy in the tongs. I mean... That's what you want. That's exactly what you want. What you really, really want. Let's let this side get done. Then we got some barbecue sauce for these boys. 
let's wait for these waves to pass here. Oh, gracious. Well, that's one thing about cooking on the boat. You know, you got all the other boaters out here. Can get a little dicky. All right, we're good. These are ready to come out. Oh man, guys. What? See, this is why I love my subscribers. You know, they tell me, Micah, cornstarch. Do yourself a favor, get that crunchiness. I'm like, oh, okay. Because I'm no chef, y'all. I mean, could I win Iron Chef America? Probably. But I am no um, master. Well, I guess that would make me a master chef. I don't know. I'm not like the Chuck Norris of the chef world. I can still learn a thing or two. Like cornstarch and the flour, that's pretty advanced stuff, right? <laughs> uh, let's put our last batch on here. Letting the oil drain off that batch there. So then that can stay nice and crispy. All right, ooh, that lid's cracked a little bit. What we do now is we're just gonna take our nuggets. We're just gonna drop our nuggets in this sauce right here. That's what we're gonna do. Just like that. Bam. And then we're gonna put a little more sauce over them. Like so. Put the lid on. And now just gently, ever so gently, toss our nuggets in the honey barbecue sauce. Take a peek inside. I don't want them to break apart. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. That looks amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you honey barbecued striper nuggets. <laughs> yes. Oh, let's thank the Lord for our day. Father God, thank you so much for this life we live, for our many blessings, the health that we have to enjoy it. Lord, we thank you for the fish and the water, Lord, that you give us to enjoy. So thankful for our many blessings, Lord. Through Jesus we pray, amen. Oh my goodness, storm barreling down on us, but not before we have a tender striper nugget. Oh, it's crunchy. It's, what would you call it? Crunchy, not crispy. Oh my goodness. Y'all look at that right there. Don't tell me you don't want to reach through the screen and eat that. Mmm. Well, I've got to bring ranch out here. If I do this challenge again and I do not bring ranch, I'm going to hurl myself into the water. Buck naked. I have to do that. Ranch? Ranch will be delicious with this. What am I doing? It's 2024, y'all. Striper wings. That's what we're doing out here. Welcome to High Adventure Videos, baby. Mm. Look, it's starting to rain. <laughs> we just made our nuggets. Rain's starting to come down. Yeah, rain, 0% chance, my eye. I haven't heard any lightning. Heard lightning, I haven't heard thunder. I haven't seen lightning. But we just got hit. Apparently, apparently he was the little fish. Never mind. Well, whatever. Ha! Beat the rain, though. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Bait tank is completely emptied out. We have used all of the herring. I'm not going to lie. That was a lot of fun today. Doing all the free lining. I'm trying to figure out why it's beautiful now, though. Look, end of the day, and it's absolutely gorgeous out here. Why does that always happen at the end of the fishing trip? We needed this this morning. I don't know. But we capitalized on our opportunities pretty well, I'd say, today. Still going through the learning curve, but shoot, I had a lot of fun. Hope y'all had a lot of fun with me. I'm telling you right now, go try some striper wings. You're not going to be disappointed. They were mwah. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, I will see you in the next one.